I mean, really, I don't know if I would call it advice, but I basically told him in the midst of everything this past offseason, I said, look, man, do what's best for you. Uh, you got a lot of people judging you. Uh, for starters, Devontae Adams is the first ever Las Vegas Raider player to make the top 10 list. Did you know that the superstar was born on Christmas Eve? But that's not all. We bet there are many more facts you didn't know about him. So let's reveal some more. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Devontae Adams. At number 10, he was the ninth pick in the draft. Yeah, you heard that right. Devontae Adams was drafted in the second round by the Packers, slipping down to 53rd overall. This indicates eight wide receivers were selected before him in the 2014 NFL Draft. Coming out of college, Adams was not considered an elite talent because of his lack of blazing speed and inability to play in a Power 5 conference. However, over six seasons, none of these players has more catches than Adams. Adams was undoubtedly motivated by being passed over in the draft. King shit. At number nine, Devontae Adams was far from a fan favorite early in his NFL career. It sounds awkward that Devontae could never not have been a fan favorite, but man, did he not have it easy. When he debuted in the NFL and struggled catching passes, many of those who overlooked Adams in the draft were proven right. Green Bay Packer fans had their fill of the player. He dropped several passes in his first two seasons, many of which he could have gone for touchdowns. In his rookie season, he tallied a 57.6 catch rate. After dropping to 53.2 in his second season, his catch percentage subsequently increased. At number eight, he won the high school state championship. Adams was a member of the Palo Alto High School football team in California. He was a two-way high school player playing wide receiver and cornerback. His team won the CIF championship in his senior year while Adams caught 64 passes that season for 1,094 yards and 12 touchdowns while heading off a pass and forcing two fumbles on defense. You could pretty much say he led his team to winning it. The man was young and getting it. Call him the Fresh Prince of Palo Alto. At number seven, Devontae Adams was a basketball star in high school. While he shined at Palo Alto High School on the gridiron, he also impressed on the hardwood, and that's a fact. He was a two-star recruit in both basketball and football. In his senior year, he averaged 9 points, 5.8 rebounds, and 5.4 assists per game. At 6 feet 1 inches tall, he had the choice of playing college football or basketball. However, just like in football, he had little college interest in basketball outside of local D1 schools. Ultimately, he chose football and had a chance to play for the Bulldogs at Fresno State. Green Bay Packers fans are glad he did. At number six, he has played with some top quarterbacks. We all know our team's quarterbacks are sometimes the team's core and heart, and Devontae has been lucky to play with quite some of the best QBs in his time. He's no stranger to receiving passes from talented QBs, and we're not just talking about Aaron Rodgers, who he played with during his eight years with the Packers. Did you know that Devontae was teammates with Raiders QB Derek Carr at Fresno State? The two are still close friends, and with Tay's move to the LA Raiders in 2022, he reunites with his college quarterback, who helped him become a second-round draft pick. You might want to hold your breath for this one, because love is in the air. At number five, Devontae and his wife have been together since college. Yeah, Villarreal graduated from Everett Alvarez High School before attending Fresno State. There, she met Adams, who was the wideout for the second team at the time. The couple began dating for several years, and she was by his side on draft day when the cameras cut to his family's reaction. The All-American Adams popped the question during a trip to Cove Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas in 2017. The couple married a year later at Pebble Beach in California with Adams Fresno State and now Raider teammate quarterback Derek Carr in attendance. Romantic, isn't it? At number four, Adams has 14 games with 10 or more catches and 23 100-yard games. Adams has caught 10 or more passes in 14 games for the Packers during his NFL career. That is by far the most in their history. With seven games each, Sterling Sharp and Donald Driver are tied for second place. Ironically, in 10 career playoff games, he has never caught more than 10 passes in a single game. He has nine catches on three occasions, all of which have come in the team's last three postseason games. Adams has also had 23 regular season games of 100 yards or more, including seven last season, 
He's tied for fifth on the Packers' all-time list with Greg Jennings. His most productive game was a 14-catch, 156-yard effort in a season opener in Minnesota. He caught two touchdowns in that contest. At number three, he holds multiple records for the Packers. In 2022, Adams was traded to the Las Vegas Raiders from the Green Bay Packers in a trade that involved the Raiders giving two of their 2022 draft picks. After eight seasons with them, he cemented himself as an all-time great for the Packers. Adams holds the Packers' single-season records for catches, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. He is second in franchise history in receptions with 669, third in receiving touchdowns for 73, and fourth in receiving yards at 8,121. Since 2016, he has caught 10 or more touchdown passes in a season every year except in 2019 when he only had five, which is the highest in Packers history. At number two, Devontae Adams is also a multiple NFL record holder. Since 2016, Adams has led all NFL wide receivers with 58 touchdown catches, including a career-high 18 in 2020. Since 2016, he has 11 more touchdown passes than the next highest player, a significant lead. According to NFL records, the wide receiver is the first player in the Super Bowl era to have 50-plus receptions, gain 600-plus receiving yards, and score 8-plus touchdowns through his first six games of a single season. He's also the only player in NFL history with three seasons of 110-plus catches, 1350-plus receiving yards, and 11-plus receiving touchdowns in 2018, 2020, and 2021. Just amazing. And at number one, he is Las Vegas Raiders' first ever player to make the top 10. We give you this incredible feat by reserving the best for last, like the perfect groom. Tay has put the Las Vegas Raiders in the top 10 of the NFL Top 100 for the first time, thanks to Tay. The 2022 Top 100 NFL Players list was revealed on the NFL Network, with Raiders wide receiver Devontae Adams ranking seventh on the list coming off a season. Over the last five seasons, he has led the league in receiving yards at 6195 and receiving touchdowns at 51. Adams is only ranked in the top 10 for the second time, as the five-time Pro Bowler was ranked number six on the 2021 list. Adams is only ranked in the top 10 for the second time. Adams is yet to win the Super Bowl, though. You think he's finally going to achieve this and become an undisputed NFL great? Let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video. Bye for now.